Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on Live Through Music. Welcome and thank you for stopping by. It's fantastic you are here. Well, I trust you enjoyed my last video on iconic diva Adele and through his song, Someone Like You, we talked looked at the fact that sometimes we need to let things go. So I trust you found that one an encouragement. We'll go from there to an absolute icon of the music industry today. It does not get much bigger than this one. This is, it was the last, it was all started in 1942 in Tennessee where the Queen of Soul was born. And uh, who are we talking about? Aretha Franklin, of course we are, such an iconic um, performer over so many years. Uh, she did leave the world in 2018 at the age of 76, so there we go. This goes to show that she had such longevity um, in her music career. Between 1961 and 2018, there were 38 studio albums, 6 live albums, 62 compilation albums, 131 singles and, and it's estimated she had sold 75 million albums. Now that's a pretty significant effort. Now Aretha, um, she's just got a way about her. First of all, let's talk about her, her voice. Her voice is just incredible. She has the way of just singing, bringing soul to life. And this is certainly the thing that when she goes on stage, she just doesn't go on there. She commands it and everybody just has to listen to her. In fact, there's a clip coming up in a minute, minute which just shows herself so, so well. Some significant awards. She has won a few awards. Um, uh, she's received the National Medal of Arts, the Presidential Medal of Freedom, which was the first female solo artist to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1987. In 2005, she was inducted into the UK Music Hall of Fame. So that's both sides of the Atlantic right there. 2012, the music, the Gospel Music Hall of Fame, because she has those roots about her. In fact, Rolling Stone magazine cited her as, as the number one greatest singer of all time on the many lists that they, that they do, and that hasn't changed. And interestingly, she received the Pulitzer Prize. Um, this was a significant contribution to the arts, and that was awarded to her posthumously in 2019. So this girl is an absolute legend of the music industry. She, she had such attitude about her. She had such compulsion about her. It wasn't a wreath and Franklin concert, it was an experience, that is for sure. And she had such respect worldwide. Um, she's also received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and she's received various honorary doctorates from quite a few universities, including Harvard and Berkeley. So there we go. That's, uh, it just goes to show that you know, there's nothing like life experience to give you an education, very much the case here, either honorary doctorates or honorary degrees. Now, she has been in 10 movies as well, and we'll get on to one of the most well-known ones in a minute as well. But as I've said, absolute power and absolute passion of performance. This is Aretha Franklin, the legend. Now, when we think of Aretha Franklin, well, there's probably a few songs that we think about, but I, for me, the go-to song for her is R-E-S-P-E-C-T, Respect. All I want is a little respect. That's the song that I'm going to go to today. Now, where does respect come from? Here's an interesting question. Does it come from like an external situation where you, you're looking for respect from other people? That certainly helps, you know, to know that we're respected um, is, is a pretty good thing to know and to know that we're making a difference and contributing and people are noticing us and saying thank you. That's really, really great. But you know what? I just question whether respect doesn't start there. I'm wondering as we're looking, looking in this world we're in at the moment and, you know, and how it is that the world... Um, is not going to give us the respect we need. Respect actually comes 
from within. We have to respect ourselves first. And it's interesting when we put when we get that truly right, and let's face it, it's a long journey that one. I don't think I truly respect myself, to be honest with you. I'm still a little bit scared and a, a bit fearful and all of that sort of stuff. I'm sure the world kind of sees that a bit, but you know what? Um, it comes from a healthy view of self, a respect of self. Knowing that, you know, in the world that we're in right now, that you're doing the best you can do with what you know about yourself. You know, we can look into the future and think, okay, I'm not there yet. I'm hoping to get there some point. But what about right now? What about what you know about yourself right now? We don't want to put ourselves on hold, hoping to get to some kind of goal. Because life's all about the journey. As Steve Jobs said, the reward is in the journey. And that's where respect comes from. It's in those little wins that we have. And, you know, we, we think inside and think, well, that went really well. I kind of did that. We can afford ourselves the opportunity to say, gee, oh, that, was, that was okay. We don't go blowing it to the world, but we just think to ourselves, yeah, that was good. Yeah, well done for that. And respect for ourselves builds. And bit by bit, respect grows. And I think when, when Aretha Franklin uh, came out with a song in 1967, she had that already. She came from the south of the US. She knew what it meant to be marginalised and all the rest of it. But she said, hang on a minute, I'm Aretha Franklin. I've got something to offer. And as far back as the 1960s, she was finding success because she just had a way about her. So I think the thing that we can take away from the Aretha Franklin story is the fact that she had that R-S-P-E-C-T about herself and then she and she just commanded that from other people. Not because she was empty and because she had nothing to offer. She had plenty to offer and the world well and truly took notice of her for that reason. So respect starts with us inwardly. And then when people see that, they just automatically want to do it as well they don't get told to do it you don't say you will respect me no it's just through who we are and how we interact with the world where that respect will just come so you know what if you're thinking of trying to find your way in this world and you think well perhaps i'm going to get respected by being pushy and and getting my own way perhaps respect is a little bit more comes from the way that we are compassionate respectful of others and all that sort of stuff, and then maybe that will come back and resonate with the respect that we have for ourselves inwardly. So I trust that will all be an encouragement for you. Respect doesn't come externally, it starts internally. So I trust you'll find that one an encouragement. Well, on to the clips, and because it is Aretha Franklin, we do need to have a few songs. So first of all, we have R-S-P-E-C-T, I think I spelled it right. This came off the album, I Never Loved the Man the Way I Loved You, from 1967. And here we go right back. Again, Aretha's career started in 1961. So in 1968, out came this um, album, that particular album, and the world really and truly stood up and took notice. This is one of the songs when you went to Aretha Franklin's concert, you wanted to actually hear, and here she is back in the early days doing that one. Of course, RSPECT got a resurgence in the Blues Brothers 2000 movie where we heard, where we saw her trying to <laughs> get a man to just to see things differently. So there's that one. We've also then got Think. Now, this is another one where you've got just the, the iconic backup singers doing the stuff that they do with her, just creating a real exciting vibe. This came from the iconic Blues Brothers movie from 1980. I did a, a bit of a uh, video on the Blues Brothers a little while ago now, and with the song Everybody Needs Someone. So this is a follow-up. That was a movie which had such iconic soul artists in it. Aretha Franklin, of course, got in there. And there she is in the diner trying to get her, her bloke. He wants to go back to the get the go back with the band to think about what he's doing. That album came off that song came off the Aretha Now album from 1968 originally. 
We then got Chain of Fools. Um, this came off the latest soul album of 1968. And this is just, I suppose, I wanted to grab a, li a live version just of her on stage. So many performers with her, a big band, just to be able to support her incredible voice that she's got. And just the attitude that she has as well, or she did have, still has to a certain extent. And so there's a live version of Chain of Fools. Now, I've saved uh, probably one of the better clips till last. Um, and this um, is the song, You Make Me Feel, You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman. This, this is from the Kennedy Center when they honored Carol King, who was one of the songwriters of that song. Of course, uh, Aretha Franklin brought this song to life and Carol King thought, well, how amazing to, to get this lady to sing my song. And in America, they have the Kennedy Center, which does do honors every year and they decided to honor Carol King. And who did they get to sing, You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman? I'm much a surprise that Carol King is anyone, Aretha Franklin. Now, when you watch this clip and you'll see the Obamas in the audience here, she's just commanding the stage, she's commanding the whole stadium, and we have an absolutely staggeringly, stunningly fantastic performance of this song, which just captivates what is the royalty of the United States in one room. And you just get to see what I mean by how an iconic performance she is. She starts off very humbly in this clip, just playing piano, which also is a bit of a surprise for all of us. But then she, she stands up and she just gets that attitude about her. And so that one's there for you as well. Just go back and relive the Aretha Franklin experience. And so the links to those four songs are in the description below and I've also included my last video from Adele. So if you want to recap on that one, feel free. Well, I trust you've enjoyed this, uh, this going back to one of the icons of the industry today. If you have come back for another video or this is your first time to Life Reflections Through Music, welcome to everybody. Thank you for coming back and the encouragement always is Hang around to the end of the videos because there may be something encouraging there for you. Just have to wait and see. Well, that's it for today. Next time we're going to go on to Adrian Gervitz and his, um, his hit from the 80s, Classic. So until then, I'll catch you around.